What's up guys, welcome to Road Ride. I'm Alex Vanover. I'm Joshua Bardwell. And I'm Ladrib. And today we are doing the FPV Trictionary 2020 edition. We're gonna be going over all basically the tricks that are out there from the simple Every ones all the way up one. to the most advanced ones. Uh, what we primarily do here on Rotor Riot is FPV freestyle where we are doing tricks. And this is a challenge that has been solved in other disciplines like skateboarding, figure skating, mm -hmm. BMX. You got a Thing and it's moving through space and we have to just come up with names and there's an infinite way to make it move through space. So there's always gonna be some controversy. Right, right. Let's get this out of the way. These are our takes on it. If you know a trick by a different name, argue about it in the comments because it's good for our engagement. But anyway. or, or, or don't, or, or just don't. don't. <laughs> so the first section of tricks, we'll call these the basics. The roll and the barrel roll. You know, I would call a roll where you just flip the quad along wow, the roll axis good and a barrel roll where you're yeah, using like power to actually spiral. A helix. Right, and the next would be a flip slash loop. Typically right. we do a That's power true. loop, or a loop is where we're going, how like let's say, behind an object, below an object, and we go back over top of the object like this, where usually if we're doing a flip, it's either an open space, or yeah. we're trying to do a flip between two gaps. Roll and pitch. Mm -hmm. So now the yaw axis, right? The yaw, the yaw spin. Yaw spin. I don't think you really have that same thing, right? Yeah, Whereas with pitch and yeah. roll. With a yaw spin, if you spin fast, you just spin in place and keep going. And if you spin slow, it's called a turn. Yeah. <laughs> and essentially, that's how you can use all three axes. Technically, that's it. Those are the only three tricks, in a sense. Everything else from then on a is a combination of those or, or partial combination. Version so there's a certain number that have become iconic that do have names. And that's what we are going to go through, the most common ones. I think that there are tricks that you can do like in open space, right, and tricks that require like an object to mm. work off of, right. You have so to interact with the environment. Let's start yeah. with tricks that you do in empty space. Okay. Yep. For example, a Rubik's cube. A Rubik's cube is, I think most people would agree that it is a half flip forward, and then a 360 roll and a half flip forward to come out. Mm -hmm. Some people would put those together in a different order, but basically, yeah. it's that's a Ruby scheme. It's a half flip, a full roll, and then a half flip, whether it's backwards or forwards. I'd say another very famous combination trick, the inverted yaw spin. I think this Ooh. one's a little more self-explanatory. You know what's interesting about this to me is that that is actually one of the hardest moves to master. Yeah. Vic FPV is one of the best He's at so it. He's so good at it. Yep. But it's actually a really simple move to describe. Just turn over and yaw spin and turn back over. I think that goes for a lot of the tricks that we're going to be talking about later because there is a lot of style to it and yeah. there's different, it's, it sounds easy on paper but the way you do it is actually very difficult sometimes. Mm -hmm. One of the tricks that I love personally that we haven't talked about yet is the juicy flick. Mm -hmm. Now what is a juicy flick, Barbell? Well, it's interesting because I I thought I knew what a Juicy Flick was, but then Willie did a tutorial about Juicy Flicks. Well, we're deciding today. We're deciding we today. <laughs> when you are going forward and you really aggressively flip upside down, you want to have some look back where the, you're moving that way and yep. then zoom, roll out of it. This is getting to the type of trick where it's, it's now getting into the nuance of the way that you're doing it. So you want to be very fast on the pitch axis, yep. slower on the uh, roll. That's the yep. juicy Hold part. it and then kind of yaw yeah. out. The whole point of the trick is when you go inverted, you want to have enough momentum that you're still carrying forward in the direction of flight and then roll out where you're still going. Where you're still coasting. So one of the moves you referenced is a stall. And there's various ways you can do a stall, but what makes a stall is that you're going to freeze the quad and let it drop. I first saw Johnny FPV do him really well, is he'll be under tree canopy, yeah, yeah. and he'll go up, kiss the tree canopy, and then just fall, whoop, back fall. Down. and it's so hard to control, it seems so simple, but it's so hard to kill your momentum perfectly and And also stall. without drifting backwards like this. And, and I've also seen Schizo do it, where he'll go knife edge and drop perfectly down. Right. Yeah. And I would call that a stall or a knife edge stall. Yeah. Right. This is one of my favorite moves um, because I like any move where you end up going backwards. Mm -hmm. I call it like a throwback. I don't know if there's another name people have for it, but in yeah. my head that's what I call it. You're flying forward, you pitch back, you throttle up, and you get going backward, and then you kind of go Oh, yes, so I that, love that trick. And it's even more fun if there's like a tree canopy. So you're looking up at the tree canopy and then you're going out of it. Yeah. So for tricks where you are combining the different axes together. I think that's, that's, those are kind of the most common ones as far as what can be done in the open air. Again, yeah. well, right. a lot of these just don't really have a set name. Take it as a challenge. Yeah. If you think that there's a particular combination of moves, 
Make it popular, yeah, and the name will stick. In fact, Actually, you've been you've been trying to get something to stick. That's the Vanny roll. It is the Vanny roll. I don't know if we were roll. gonna. Did you want to cover this in the dictionary? Of course, I wanted to cover this. All right, in the so one more in the section. Hit. What's the Vanny roll? Well, the Vanny roll is kind of one of those moves. I like to do it through an object, but I think I also do it mostly in open space. A Vanny roll is essentially where you need to get the quad going with a lot of backwards momentum. So you sling the quad. So it's going backwards like this, and then you do a roll, and the goal of the roll is to try and do it as low to the ground as possible, and by the time you exit that roll, you are just like skimming the ground, and you're still traveling backwards, and then you fly out of it in whatever way, shape, or form. A lot of these tricks come down to the style that you do it, so anyone can argue that they can just turn a quad backwards and do a roll, but it's about carrying momentum as you're flying the quad backwards and then doing the roll and, and putting a little bit of like personal style and flavor on it. Yeah, it's going in the trictionary. It's there going is. in the trictionary. Going Comment in down the below trictionary. how much you still hate it, guys. <laughs> so this next section, these are tricks where you really have to interact with the environment, and I think this is the most fun part of FPV. That's what makes FPV yeah. so special. Yeah. It's like skateboarding. You're going to spots and trying to interact with different obstacles. And one of the first things that you'll start doing is hitting Tr gaps. Yeah, trying right. to fly through stuff. Just fly through a gap in an object. Mm -hmm. Can't do that without an object. But, and a lot of the tricks that we've we've mentioned, it's fun to try and do them through a gap. So right. as you do, as you go through the gap, you want to do a roll or you want to do a, a Rubik's Cube if right. you're really yeah. going for it. Right. Or, mm -hmm. Some gaps are going to be really narrow. Mm -hmm. I mean, finding different ways to go through the gaps, like you said. But a particular way that stands out is the knife edge gap. Mm -hmm. You're just knife edge stalling through a gap. Yeah. The best ones are the ones where the quad is, I mean, it's always cool, but the best ones are the ones where the quads would not fit. Yeah. Unless you knife Unless you edge, because that sideways. really ups the degree of difficulty. I got this one in Puerto Rico I was really proud of. Yeah, it was like, just... Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Alright, so this next trick is a power loop, because to call it a power loop, they're gonna expect you to go under something, loop around it, and back under a thing. So one of the tricks that we haven't talked about is kind of a mixture of that yaw and roll axis is an orbit. Mm -hmm. An orbit is essentially where you have an object, let's say it's a tree or a pole, and you're just orbiting, flying around that object in 360 degrees. I think it's kind of a more simpler maneuver. I think most pilots can pick this one up pretty quickly, but it's something that looks really cool if you're orbiting an object that is really cool. The key is that you're facing into the object and holding the object in basically the same place on your screen while you circle around it. I think one of the most famous people to do orbits has to be Mr. Steel. I mean, we gotta give credit to yeah, him. I mean, in definitely. all of his videos, he's just kind of the king of orbits. He's just orbiting around objects. He's really good at keeping his distance between the object the mm -hmm. same as he goes around he it. He definitely over. made that trick iconic. Next trick, split S. This is one of the most basic tricks and it's probably the first freestyle trick that a lot of pilots yeah. learn. And split S can be done in open space. Uh, it's, it's a basic aerobatic maneuver for changing direction. Whereas you fly forward, you roll 180, and then you pitch back to come out going the opposite That's direction that you came in. Mm -hmm. But usually when freestyle pilots do a split S, they'll be going over an object like a tree. The best split S, in my opinion, is yeah. one where you turn upside down before you approach the object. You let your momentum carry you over it while you're looking down at it, and then you come back around underneath it the other direction. Yeah, you want to like really be kissing the trees. As yeah. You're passing. Schizo was the first person I think many people saw to be doing like anti-gravity. It was the title of the video. He was mm -hmm. just going over the trees and I mean that was the first time I ever saw a quad just like skimming the Schizo's trees. Schizo's split S is what made me want to like commit to, yeah. to FPV freestyle. I was messing around with all sorts of RC stuff. I thought the FPV quads were fine but I wasn't really hooked on them until I saw Schizo doing that stuff. So, oh, that's what I want. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Now the, the other variant of the split S, which is again from aerobatics, it's very popular, but we don't do it as much mm -hmm. in freestyle, is the Emmelman. And in yep. the Emmelman, you're gonna climb and pitch back and then roll out. Right. Um, my fact, favorite way to do an Emmelman <laughs> is when you've got multiple floors of something, like a yes. parking garage yes. or a bando, and I like to that. shoot out one That's window, so hard. power loop That's up, really roll. and if you can time it so that as so you're hard. about to power loop into the other window, you're that's when you do, do the roll, that's my favorite if way. You've, if you've ever tried to do a power loop over a tree, and halfway into it you realize you haven't got it, and you've you gone, oh and bailed out, you just you learned an Emmelman. You just you learned just something. <laughs> <laughs> so the Maddie flip. This is this is where things are starting to get Difficult. pretty pretty advanced. I remember I had fantasized about this trick, and I had just convinced myself it couldn't be done. It couldn't be done, or something. I mean, I, I oh, how cool what would it is be if maybe what is a Maddie flip? So Maddie flip is where you would go over an object, pitch forward. Keep pitching forward, apply power, and end up thrusting backwards yep. under the object. It's essentially the antithesis of a power loop. Yep. It's yep. called a Matty flip because mm -hmm. it was first done by Matty Durant. Another trick that I think Matty was Matty was definitely the first guy I saw do it. It came from his 
ultra, ultra high up tilt style is what he called the cyclone. Other people, I did you know, tried, did you know that's my I learned this trick and I called it a trippy spin. I just thought that was an appropriate name. I was just banging out vlogs and I was like, really? this is a trippy spin. Yeah. And I mentioned in my video that it was him that inspired me to do it. I just didn't know, know the name. trick name. I didn't then, really know there was a name. I was like, this is a trippy spin. It's like, almost impossible the first time you see it to understand what the quad is doing. It's a trick that I had to use the simulator just to figure I out agree. what yeah. am I supposed to do with my thumbs here. So we've kind of talked about all these tricks and everything, but let's talk more about ones you need objects for. Dives. And can't, I want to talk about You can't dive without an object to dive. I mean, you could kind of dive from going up towards the ground, I guess, but the best way to do a dive is to like dive through something, whether that's like a gravity gate or whether that's five stories of concrete in Croatia or, or the Duga dive or, or along a wall or something. I mean, I think dives are relatively easy in terms of what you're doing on the controls, but they can be really, really difficult and challenging. If you think about it... It's just a nose down stall. But when your quad's going mm -hmm. straight down like this, your propellers, when you're at idle, are still pulling you forward. So if you're going through a really tight object at, for a long distance, the quad's gonna start doing this, so you have to end up rolling it yeah. to keep it inside the For long dive. dives, you often see that's pilots That's what Duga dive, that's mm -hmm. what Tommy did yeah. in the Duga dive, that's what I had to do in my Croatian dive. It's one of the most fun things you can it's do. So much dive fun. gaps are the most fun. There's another move that's like a dive, like a building dive, which is the backwards wall ride. Or the. Or let's start with the forwards yeah. wall ride. Wall ride, is again, you're playing with the wall, but rather than diving down it, you wanna, whoosh, wanna ride it. It's like, it's very, that's a, I love this trick because it's very, it's very skateboardy. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Something that would Like on a half pipe. Right. Go, whoosh, 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 Right, mm -hmm. and then uh, then there's variants on it. You could do the reverse wall ride. The reverse uh, wall. Johnny FPV. Johnny, we got to show the famous we have Johnny to. FPV wall ride clip. There have been many reverse wall rides, but none have quite so close. amazing as the one that Johnny did right along that glass building. Yep. It was so beautiful, just rocketed right off. Can we the point edge out that that was in 2018 too, which is two years ago now. At the time for like the quads and stuff that we're flying, that's a really hard trick to do. So backwards dive, I think we gotta hand this one to Cricket. So a lot of the tricks that we've been talking about, you could do backwards and it essentially doubles the doubles the list. But you notice we're not mentioning all of these because there are only certain ones that I think have really become yeah. really like notable backwards dive. Backwards dive, he'll line up the gap and he'll come and he'll down yeah. through it. And he's got that down to an art. Yeah. He can They're go through two, three gaps. Oh, wait, tiny wait, dude, gaps. don't hold it going down a wall of gap. Pop, this pop, is pop, another pop, one pop. where when he first did it, I was like, that's luck. And then he yeah. just kept doing it, and I was like, oh, that's skill. All right, so the final category that we're going to go into here. Is contact tricks. Where you're intentionally yeah. contacting the object. Mm -hmm. And the bonk is the one that many of us have done by accident. <laughs> My favorite form of the bonk to do on purpose is where you're underneath a roof, and you power loop yeah. up, and you go, boom. Yeah. With your, yeah. as if you kind of landed. Yep. Ceiling yep. bonks are cool. Ceiling bonks are cool. And you can almost nope. usually get away with saying that it was on purpose. Right. Yeah. Wall bonks, when you're starting to learn the wall ride, you're, you're might you're be doing, some, doing, wall, might be doing some wall bonks. A cool way to do wall bonks, or like when you go a little more at it, intentionally bounce off it and maybe turn that into a flip bonk, mm -hmm. flip mm -hmm. out of it. I also want to point out, if you're trying to learn power loops under a ceiling, and you're worried about having too much power and crashing, if you've noticed that's happening, pitch back and turn it into a bonk. Yeah. Because your quad will break if you go like this. But if you go like this, it's probably not gonna break. Yeah. A bonk can actually save your quad. Grinds Bonks. and slides. That's your move that's right your there, thing. mister. Uh, it's a yeah, slide and so grind. I love these little skids. You don't need these little skids, but these little skids that uh, I like to put under my motors, and they will slide really well on the ground. So if you wanna come in with momentum, so she land on the ground and slide the quad. Sitting. What's really fun is if you can find like a narrow, like a ledge and maybe slide down Ooh. it. That's where I really start to feel like, oh yeah, I'm a skateboard. I'm sliding down a ledge. <laughs> so the slides are fun. You can throw in a yaw spin. If, while you're if, if you don't disarm yeah. while you're sliding, you can like throw in a yaw spin or flip out. That, that's a fun trick. And then when you want to get really crazy, you can, you can grind quads. You don't see it a lot. I thought that this would become more popular. And I think really one of the hard. reasons it hasn't is just because it's so hard. And depending on your frame, it can be even harder. So I mean, like my frame has this Same. standoff up front that's pretty nice for setting on a rail. Right. So I mean, it's really, the idea of grinding your quad like a skateboard is super cool. You don't see it a lot though. Yeah. I think one of the final tricks, and I think we say this best for last, is perching. Now it sounds really simple. You're just going and landing on something. But yeah. 
Perching is like what we when we describe landing on something really hard. So for example, the top of a light pole. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've done this a few times where I go up and you're trying to land on this tiny little object without you know yeah. falling off and just timing it just land right. On a ledge. I, I, that is one of the most fun things. That's kind of something you do as like a challenge. It's a really Let's, fancy landing. And on that note, do you know FPV Trictionary. Landing is the one trick that FPV pilots can't do. Because every time I finish a flight, it's just like boom, 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 boom. Thank you guys so much for watching this. We hope you've enjoyed it. I really liked watching all those clips and thinking about just all these tricks that have come up over time. Mm -hmm. If you think there are any tricks that we left out or got the I'm name wrong, certain, or if you certain. can think of a great yeah. example of a trick that you're like, no, no, you should have done this one, throw it in the comments. You know, we read them all and we'd love to. Yeah, yeah this see is what certainly your are. not all inclusive because, as we yeah. said, there's an infinite number of yeah. ways that you can combine all the different movements that are capable. <laughs> With these awesome machines, but I think these are the most common, the most iconic tricks I think that you're likely to see. We did pretty good. Yeah, and you know what? If we didn't mention something, go out and make that a famous trick. Go Hell out yeah. and make it so Hell hot yeah. that we can't miss it in the next edition of FPV Trictionary. This has been the 2020 volume. Hit the subscribe button, oh like this video, check out our store so we can keep making awesome videos like this for you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.